In this video, we're going to be taking a look on pages PowerPoint 84 and 85, in which we're going to use proofing and language tools. As your work on the presentation file nears completion, you need to review and proofread your slides thoroughly for errors. You can use the spell checker feature in PowerPoint to check for and correct spelling errors. This feature compares the spelling of all words in your presentation against the words contained in the dictionary. You still must proofread your presentation for punctuation, grammar, and word usage errors because the spell checker recognizes only misspelled and unknown words, not misused words. For example, the spell checker would not identify the word last as an error, even if you had intended to type the word cast. PowerPoint also includes language tools that translate words or phrases from your default language into another language using the Microsoft Translator. Now let's take a look at step one on page PowerPoint 84. And on step one, it tells us that we want to click on the review tab on the ribbon and then click on the spelling button over here in the proofing group on the left hand side. When we click on the spelling button, PowerPoint begins to check the spelling in your presentation. When PowerPoint finds a misspelled word or word that is not in its dictionary, the spelling pane opens, which as you see right here. In this case, PowerPoint identifies the misspelled word in the table on slide 4 and suggests that you replace it with the correctly spelled word business. And to do that, we take a look at step 2 where it tells us to click on change. PowerPoint changes the misspelled word and then continues to check the rest of the presentation for errors. This presentation has several names that are not in the dictionary that you can't ignore. If PowerPoint finds any other words that it does not recognize, either change them or ignore them. When the spell checker finishes your checking your presentation, the spelling pane closes and an alert box opens with a message stating that the spelling check is complete. So here we have a name, we can ignore it. Another name, we can ignore it. Here's another name, we can ignore it. Of course, here's the box that tells us that our spelling check is complete and we're good to go. Step 3, we can click on OK in the alert box. Now one thing to note as well is that the spell checker does not check the text that is inserted in pictures or in objects. Once we have done that, we need to scroll up in our um, thumbnails pane and we want to click on slide 1. Now we need to see how the language translation feature works. So in step 4, it tells us that we want to click the translate button in the language group. So here we have the language group and here's the translation button. So then we want to click on choose translate uh, translation, uh, translation language, which is down at the bottom. Then the translation language options dialog box will open up. Then on step five, we want to click the translate to list arrow. And then of course you see all the different languages that we can choose from. And in this case, it tells us that we're going to click Hebrew and then click on OK. Now the translation language box, uh, or language options dialog box, will close. And then in step six, we're now going to click the translate button in the language group again. And then we're going to click Mini Translator Hebrew. And then we're going to click anywhere in the subtitle text object. And then we're going to select all of the text. Once we have that done, we notice that now we have faded out just a little bit and you can move your mouse pointer over this we have the uh, Microsoft Translator box that has appeared. Now a Hebrew translation of the text appears as shown here and also on figure D13. Now the, translator, uh, the translation language settings remains in effect until you reset it. Now of course a quick tip as well to copy the translated text to a slide you can click the copy button 
at the bottom of the Microsoft Translator box and then right click the slide and then click the paste option. Of course right there is your copy button uh, that we were just mentioning. And then on step 8 it tells us that we can click the translate button in the language group. Of course also we have a little play button there as well. So we do have some different buttons that's on here. And which it would actually read it to you. So very interesting it's on there as well. But then on step eight it does tell us that we want to click the translate button again. And then we're going to click on the choose translate language or transition or translation language. And then we're going to click the translate to list arrow again. And this time we're going to choose Arabic. And then click OK. And then we're going to click on the Translate Again button again. And then this time we're going to click on the Mini um, Translator again. And of course this time the Mini Translator has been turned off and the transition language is restored to the default setting. So now you will not see the translator on there as well. And uh, if we take a look on page PowerPoint 85, it does tell us a little bit about checking spelling as you type on there. And by default, PowerPoint will check your spelling as you type. And if you type a word that is not in the dictionary, a wavy red line will appear under it. And to correct an error, you right-click the misspelled word and then review the suggestions which appear in the shortcut menu. You can uh, select a suggestion add the word you type to your custom dictionary or ignore it. To turn off automatic spelling you can click the file tab then click options to open the PowerPoint options dialog box then click proofing in the left column and then click the check spelling as you type checkbox to deselect it. To temporarily hide the uh, wavy red line you can click the hide spelling errors checkbox to select it. Contextual spelling in PowerPoint identifies common grammatical grammatically misused words. For example, if you type the word there and the correct word is there, T-H-E-R-E -E versus T-H-E-I-R, PowerPoint will identify the mistake and place a wavy red line under the word. To turn on contextual spelling, on or off, click the proofing and the PowerPoint options dialog box and then click the check grammar with spelling checkbox. And that is once again in the file tab and then down at the options button here and when you click on that options button the PowerPoint options should appear here sometimes it takes a few moments for it to appear and then once we're here we can always go into the proofing and then of course this is where we can uh, check the check spelling as you type and then of course we can also click on the check grammar with spelling and then of course once you've made your changes you can always click on OK and then it will check those things for you as well. And that concludes the information that's on pages PowerPoint 84 and 85. You're ready to move on to the next video in which we're going to inspect the presentation.